The next X% draw is expected on the 12th of April. What can we expect from the draw? What will be the draw size? What will be the cutoff score? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Canadian Dream. This channel is all about Canadian immigration, immigration related news and updates. In today's video, we'll try to predict the draw size and cutoff score of the upcoming draw. There was no draw on the 5th of April calling an end to the back to back draws. Does this mean the 7k draws have ended as well? Well, we don't know for sure, so in this video, we'll do a multiple draw size prediction. For our prediction, we'll need to find the following first. Number 1. Number of candidates in the pool after the last draw. Number 2. Number of new candidates that may get added. Number 3. Total number of candidates expected before the draw. Number 4. The expected draw size. Once we have these 4 pieces of information, we can make our prediction. So let's start with Number 1. Number of candidates in the pool after the last draw. On the 29th of March, 7,000 invitations were sent out and the cutoff score was 481. After sending out 7,000 invitations, there should be no candidates in the 601 to 1200, 501 to 600 and 491 to 500 range. And only 962 candidates should be left in the 481 to 490 range. So we have got the first piece of information, let's move to the second. Number 2. Number of new candidates that may get added. To find this, we'll use the data from the latest 4 draws will average to find the possible number of new candidates. In the range of 601 to 1200, we can expect 719 candidates, between 501 to 600, 1166 candidates, between 491 to 500, 872 candidates, and between 481 to 490, 294 candidates, a total of 3332 candidates above CRS 450. So we have got the second piece of information, let's move to the third. Number 3. Total number of candidates expected before the draw. Now we need to find the total number of candidates that will be in the pool before the draw is conducted. To find this, we can add the expected number of new candidates to the candidates remaining in the pool after the last draw. If we add the two, there should be 719 candidates with CRS 600 plus. Between 501 to 600, there should be 1166. Between 491 to 500, there should be 872 candidates. And between 481 to 490, there should be 1256 candidates. Now we have got the number of candidates that might be in the pool before the draw. Let's move to the next. The expected draw size. It's time to find the draw size. RCC conducted three back to back draws with a record 7000 ITS. The trend of back to back draws was called off on the 5th of April. Will they conduct a draw with 7000 ITS on the 12th of April? This is unpredictable to be honest. I'll use three different possible draw sizes based on what we have seen before. We may have a draw with 7000 ITS. The chances are low for this though. 5000 ITS, I think this has a very good chance. And 4000 ITS. Now we have all four pieces of information ready. Let's predict what might happen on the 12th of April. If 7000 invitations are sent out, all 719 candidates with CR 600 plus will be covered. After that, we have 6281 invitations in hand. There are 1166 candidates between 501 to 600, they'll be covered too. Now we have 5114 ITS left. There are 872 candidates in the 491 to 500 range, so this range will be taken care of as well. The next range is the 481 to 490 range. There are 1256 candidates in here and all of them will be invited as well. Now there are 2987 ITAs in hand and the 471 to 480 range has 21240 candidates. If we assume numeric distribution, 2,987 ITS for 21,240 candidates means 2,987 divided by 21,240 which is equal to 14%. A 14% drop in this range would mean the cutoff score will drop to 479. Now if 5,000 invitations are sent out, all 719 candidates with CRS 600 plus will be covered. After that, we'll have 4,281 candidates left. There are 1,166 candidates between 501 to 600. They'll be covered too. Now we have 3,114 ITs left. There are 872 candidates in the 491 to 500 range. So this range will be taken care of as well. The next range is the 481 to 490 range. There are 1,256 candidates in here and all of them will be invited as well. So now there are 987 ITs in hand and 471 to 480 range has 21,240 candidates. 
if we assume numeric distribution 987 ideas for 21240 candidates means 987 divided by 21240 which is equal to 5 percent a 5 percent drop in this range would mean the cutoff score will drop to 480 if 4000 invitations are sent out all 719 candidates with CR 600 plus will be powered after that we'll have 3281 invitations in hand there are 1166 candidates between 501 to 600 that'll be covered too now we'll have 2114 ITS left there are 872 candidates in the 491 to 500 range so this range will be taken care of as well the next range is 481 to 490 range there are 1256 candidates in this range and we have 1243 ideas for them as the number of ITS is not enough to cover all the candidates in the 481 to 490 range, the cutoff score will remain at 481. So what's your prediction? What will be the cutoff score on the 12th of April? What will be the draw size? Do you agree with my calculation? Let me know in the comment section. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know if you liked it. Your feedback can help me make better videos for you. To get regular updates on Extraction Tree, do subscribe and click on the bell icon. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm also available in TikTok right now. I try to share regular updates on my socials. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.